The Pepsi NFL Rookie of the Year would mean a lot to me. You know, everything that Pepsi stands for, it, it's about the fans and it's about the whole culture. So uh, that, that would be unbelievable then to think about, you know, what a year it's been for me, uh, a long turnaround. So it, it's been it's been a lot of fun. Saquon does not like being called Saquads. So now when he makes me mad, I just skip the say part and I just call him quads and he, he hates it. So everybody out there, call him quads, um, especially if he wins Pepsi Rookie of the Year because I need some revenge if he does. I think I, I talked enough trash during you know, the regular season um, for me to you know kind of be a little bit hesitant, even though I was so confident going to the Big 12 Championship because when it comes down to that championship game, I know how our guys are going to play. Um, no, I don't have any, any bets that I have to pay off. Ah, oh, he's going to be unbelievable. You know what? People are going to knock his size. People are going to say what they want about him, but uh, he's a winner. He, he works hard. He earns everything he has. He, he's obviously very gifted, but he works for everything. And so, you know, he's a great leader in that locker room. And so I, I think he's going to do unbelievably well in the NFL. And so whoever gets him is going to be lucky. I mean, it, it's easy to say it's Tom Brady. I mean, that, it's, that's the greatest of all time. It, it's hard to... It's hard to argue that, or you even think about arguing. Gotta go with Jarvis Landry, that's my guy. You know, I, I feel like this whole morning I've been going back and forth on who I'm picking. It's gonna be a good game. Um, whoever wins, it's either gonna be Tom Brady's MVP, or I think Todd Gurley the MVP. Uh, I, I can't pick a winner, it's just gonna be a good game.